God's word is the ultimate healing remedy for mankind. Anything happens by the word of God. Anything happens via the word of God. He sent his word. And what happens? And the word healed them. And the word delivered them out of all their destructions. Psalm 107 verse 20. He sent his word. And the word heals them. And the word delivers them out of all their destructions. Sets them free, liberated them. So you shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free from HIV, from hepatitis, from lameness, from blindness. You shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Can I hear your loud amen? In Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20 to 22, he said, My son, attend unto my words and give ears unto my sayings. Let them not depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. For they shall be life to them that find it and health to all their flesh. Is able to regenerate your kidneys, repackage your heart, Strengthen your bones. Heal your marrows. Set you upon your high places. It's able to do all of that. Shall be life to them that find it. And health to all their flesh. Life and health in the word of God. Life and health in the word of God. Life and health in the word of God. Papa Egan will say, then, for 61 years, he didn't know what headache means. It's now 69 years that he doesn't know the meaning of pain or ache. He shall be life to them that find it, and health to all their flesh. So beware, lest any man spoil you through vain philosophy. After the rudiments of this world, after the traditions of men and not after Christ, for ye are complete in Him with head of all principalities and powers. Ye are complete in Him. There is nothing decorative on my family doctor. There is nothing decorative there. It is derogatory. My family doctor just told me now that my body needs. There is not. You should live beyond that. It's not a sin, but it's definitely a weight. It's not a sin, but you should not grow that. You should not grow that. And that's what the word of God does. I see every plague of sickness and disease on everyone's life destroyed by the power of God's word today. I'll read this very importantly. Job chapter 33. Wow. There is healing virtue flowing now. Everyone appointed to death is being set free now. All things were made by the word. So, the word can put right Whatever has been destroyed by what was made. Whatever was made was made by the word. So the word of God is able to put right whatever may have been destroyed among what has been made. So with any part of your life that has been corrupted by disease, I decree by the power of the word of God, your deliverance now. Now look at chapter 33 verse 21. His flesh is consumed away that it cannot be seen. And his bones that were not seen stick out. Yea, his soul draweth near unto the grave. And his life to the destroyers. If there be a messenger with him. 
an interpreter. <laughs> that means the deliverance of this man is tied to a divine message from the lips of an ordained interpreter. Someone that can interpret it correctly. If there were a messenger with him, an interpreter, one among a thousand, to show unto man his uprightness or his right, his right to be free, his right to be free. If there were one to tell him that he has a right to be free, then God will be gracious unto him and we say, deliver him from going down to the pit. I have found a ransom. Then his flesh shall be fresher than a child. He shall return to the days of his youth. Everyone that is near the grave, I have good news for you. If you are saved, the same day your soul was redeemed, your body was redeemed along with it. Whatever can stop your salvation, can stop your healing. Whatever can erase your name from the book of life, cannot remove your name from the divine head packet that God delivered for you. Therefore, be loosed in the name of Jesus. He himself took your infirmity. He himself took your infirmity. You carry them different kinds. Neck, pain, stomach, trouble, every kind. He himself took. Here you are carrying all manner of luggage. He took. He took. He took. He himself took all your infirmities and carried so you are clean. Everything that does not belong to you as an instrument has been taken away from you. He himself took, he took your typhoid fever. He took your tuberculosis. He took HIV from your body. He took kidney failure from you. Whatever you were carrying, the day you met Jesus, he said, bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities? Who healeth all thy diseases? Who delivereth thy soul from destruction? Who satisfied thy mouth with good things so that your days are renewed like the eagles? Every load of sickness and disease, I cast them in your life today. That's what Matthew 8 17 is all about. Himself took, took, in not that he's coming to take, he already took, he took it, he's not there. It takes a blind man to still see all this luggage on this lectern now. He's not there. So to, for anyone to convince you that these items are still on this, is playing on your blindness. It is not there. Now listen. If he took, then it can't be there. And let God be true and all men be liars. If he took, then it cannot be there. If he took, then it cannot be there. If he took, then it is not there. If it's not there, then I am free. Can I hear your triumphant amen there? 